Hi guys, um, hope y'all are having a good day. Um, I and Kevin and my mom are going to be taking Kevin to his uh, allergy doctor at 1230 today. We're hoping that it's not as bad as it seems, uh, but when we found out that Kevin had, was allergic to everything, it was, he had blood work that showed everything. So we're hoping that it's not going to be as bad as it seems, and uh, we're hoping that the doctor gives us like dietary suggestions, and because it's really hard trying to figure out food to give to a you know soon to be seven year old that's allergic to everything because there's so like whole milk is in a lot of products, wheat is in a lot of products, soybean oil is in a lot of products and he's allergic to all of those things um, it's a really hard deal you know you, I've already noticed the changes in his diet you know he's had a, his poor little belly's been upset a few times um, he's had headaches but I really just think it's because his body is uh, detoxing from the things that he wasn't supposed to have that we didn't know for all these years and I had told the doctors over and over and over again Something's not right with my child, uh, but they never listen to me. I, you know, it's like a parent knows when there's something not right with their child. And then doctors, all they know is they have book smarts. They don't have parent smarts. Unless you're a parent, you don't have that natural instinct that, hey, something's not right. And uh, Kevin had just, you know, he's born three months early, and he had had things going on with his his little body since he was a baby, you know, and uh, Kevin used to have seizures when he was, uh, when I was living in Fort Worth, and he would, his little body would like, his, from his belly up, his little body would like flip-flop, and I kept, so he was having seizures, and I kept telling the doctors, something's not right with my child, he's, you know, he's, he's having seizures, and uh, I don't know if they thought I was like full of it or something, but it's like every night, he had seizures from the time he was a baby all the way up until I think he was three. Um, you know, he's always had issues going to the bathroom. Um, you know, and as a parent, you think, oh, maybe he just doesn't like to, maybe it hurts him. Maybe he's just constipated. He doesn't want to poop, go poop. And so, you know, you think that and then you think, it's been going on for too many years and for a child not to want to go to the bathroom, something's not right. Something's gone on. So it took him having an allergic reaction to chicken and taking him to the ER to finally find out that, you know, he's allergic to something. Let's take him to his doctor. Let's get them to do blood work and test him. So they tested him, and sure enough, I was right. All these years, something was going on with him. So it just it pisses me off as a parent when you know something's not right with your child and doctors don't listen to you it's like we know it's our child we know what's going on if we tell you something ain't right we know we carry this child in our womb we take care of this child every day <laughs> doctors just piss me off So the poor kid's been going through, his little physical body's been going through a lot all, these, all this time. Um, I'm just a big crybaby, but when it comes to my kids, I want to make sure they're healthy and they're okay and they're well. Anyway, so today we're going to Fort Worth to the allergist, me and my mom and Kevin, and we're going to find out what's going on with them, hopefully. And I'm going to mess up my makeup because I'm a big freaking crybaby. Ah. Anyway. Dang it. I drive myself crazy. I used to not be emotional. I hated emotions and I hated showing it. And now I feel like I'm just a big freaking crybaby. Uh, anyway. So y'all be thinking of us today when we take Kevin and... I'm just praying that it's not as big as it seems, and that it's small. I'm praying that they can give him a shot, that he can uh, go outside and not, you know, because he's allergic to everything outside. Uh, that's what the doctor said, literally. 
So we're hoping that there's some kind of solution, some kind of resolution, something they can do for him so he can eat more stuff and he can go outside and his allergies not go crazy. Anyway, I thank you guys for watching my videos and uh, it means a lot to me. Anyway, I hope y'all have a great, blessed day. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. He had the blood work done, and he's basically allergic to everything the doctor said. Okay. So you think he's able, he could tolerate a skin test on his back? Oh, yeah. Okay. I would definitely That would be the perfect, because their skin test has a lot of false negatives. And oh. the, I mean, the blood test has a oh, lot of false negatives. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. skin test will pick up all his allergies. Okay. We check for a lot more things than they do in the blood work. Okay. And that we'll need that information to find out how to make his shots. Oh, okay. So, so he hasn't been on any allergy, any histamine medicines, has he? No, sir. I don't like shots. Okay. Oh, that's okay. Put that down, please. Thank you. All right, hop up here. So what we'll do, since they already did a preliminary food test that want to do environmental. Does he have a lot of seasonal allergies, mm -hmm. sinus? She said that he's allergic to everything in Texas. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I saw the blood work. So if he's allergic on the skin test. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. ah. I think you're getting shots, Kevin. Does he have an asthma? Um, no. I think he might have. She, she, I don't. I'm my mom. She don't really. She's the mom, the grandma. So I don't. She, she don't really know much. But uh, like. He wheezes a lot, so probably. Okay. Get up there. Get back up there. Does he have an inhaler? He used to. I mean, he doesn't have one anymore. Does he know? Would he know how to use it? Kevin, you know how to use an inhaler, don't you? Look at mommy. Where you puff it in your mouth, and it helps you breathe. Mm. I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. It's that thing that you puff in your mouth. You put it in your mouth, and it helps you breathe. Do you have a nebulizer machine? No. No, he needs one, but they never you give a, us one when we go to the You mean a breathe? You mean that, that medicine thing? Yeah, it helps you breathe. breathe. Does he cough a lot at night? Oh my gosh, yeah. Constantly. Actually, he that coughs medicine all the time. thing? That medicine thing? Yeah, he coughs all the time. You put it in your mouth, the medicine thing? And he also has major... Uh, he has problems going to the bathroom, and he, he gets constipated, or he has accidents. He's... What is wrong with you? It hurts. Baby, that doesn't hurt you. Oh my goodness. No. Can you draw me something on this paper? No. First little section of this grass is. Okay. I'm just touching. I'm just touching. And he reacted to six out of seven. Oh my goodness. Six what? Six out of seven. On grasses. Just my finger. Just my finger. These are ragweeds. He reacted to two different types what of ragweeds. Uh, what is that? Uh, okay. Is that Ninja Turtle? No. Do you like Ninja Turtles? Mm -hmm. I like Minions. <laughs> Minion. Oh, I love Minions. You know what I have in my house? Look. He's kicking a lot. I need one of those. Uh, over there. Right there. <laughs> what about a guy walking on it? Okay. Do you like minions with one eye or two? Um, maybe two eyes. Two maybe. eyes on my minion? Um, What's his name? Kevin? Yeah. Isn't that a minion name? I'm mm -hmm. making Patrick on here. Okay, Patrick. He's oh making my gosh, Kevin. He's kicking the ball here. Okay. Once we get this red, it, 
That's the best minion I've ever seen in my life. It's not a minion, it's Patrick. Ow! <laughs> oh, from Spongebob! I thought Patrick was a minion. Oh, okay. it's on me. What is Yeah, okay, well, hold on, let me look. Do not touch that. I'm just touching with my finger. Wait, come on. Where is no, 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 no. Get us our safe. Can I take a picture and show you? You want to see? Let me get this out and I'll show you. Hold on. No, you're about to fall. Quit. So, hey guys, I know that y'all know that we had Kevin's doctor's appointment earlier today, his allergy appointment, and we were thinking that, we were hoping that things weren't going to be as bad as when he had the skin allergy test. No. Hmm. So, it's actually a little more stressful now because Kevin has to go to the the allergy doctor twice a week to get shots for allergies. He has to do a nebulizer twice a day because he does have asthma. And he has to take have two nasal squirts in his nose a day, which I'm used to doing that sometimes anyway. Um, and then he's taking Zyrtex and another allergy medicine. So, in finding out that we will no longer have insurance at on the March 31st is really, really stressful because all of the kids take medications. Uh, one of them has to have vaccinations every few months, which is Gabby. Kevin is allergic to everything, plus he takes other medications. So the stress level is very, very high. But, you know, I truly believe that when you're going through, you know, through storms and trials, that there must be something big up ahead. There must be some big blessing that's coming your way because it seems like when it rains it pours just all kinds of stuff keeps happening but I'm truly you know gonna just turn the situation around and uh, hope and wish for better days because you know there's all tomorrow can be totally different than the day before you know what I mean things can change uh, so now we're anyway so since we're no longer gonna be getting insurance Kevin and Gabby uh, I'm in the process of finding a PPO which is not fun because a lot of companies don't take certain insurance companies or you have to have a certain type of PPO or HMO or whatever. So it's very, very difficult. So, oh, my stress level is through the roof. If y'all even knew because, you know, when you have four kids in the house, three of them are on medication that they have to have. Uh, you know, there's a brand new baby that has to have her vaccines. Then... Finding out that Kevin has to have shots twice a week. Uh, he, and he has to, the nebulizer machine, you have to change out the um, the tubes and all that. And in all that, like every two weeks. Plus you get new kits and all that. So it's not cheap. And if you don't have insurance, oh my god. So, that's how it is on my side of the world. Anyway, I just... Hoping and praying and thinking things will get better. So, I appreciate you guys watching my videos and everything. And, uh, hope y'all have a good night. And we'll see you on the flip side. Adios. Bye-bye.